sometimes things happen and they cause harm. Other times, we consider doing things that seem harmful that maybe aren't. Would you ever consider infecting yourself with something to get better? Depends on what it is, right? Well, what if I said, infect yourself with an intestinal worm? I'm not saying to do that. I'll take not a saying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really gross. But some scientists believe parasitic worms could be the next probiotic type of treatment by balancing the immune system and by introducing this type of infection, it would actually reduce some of our overall inflammation. And the idea here, of course, before I say this again, do not infect yourself with a parasitic worm. Don't do it. Don't go to the garden and swallow up and, some. But in countries, yes, they're offering specials the for this in Mexico. You can cross the border and uh, have your worms placed, I guess. But, but in countries, where parasites are more common because, ironically, we just talked about the damaged water supply in Flint, Michigan. Mm -hmm. But we have actually done a very good job in this country of making everything hygienic. And so we are no longer exposed to a lot of these parasites that, that a lot of places are. In countries where they are regularly exposed to these types of parasites, you don't see the same number of autoimmune diseases that we right. see here. You see lower rates of everything from allergies to asthma um, to autoimmune illnesses. Uh, multiple sclerosis, lupus, you know, yeah. the, the list goes on. And so I think there's an interesting idea well, behind it, this. It is. It's like rebooting or turbocharging your immune system in certain cases. Yes. That's the problem that it, it, it yeah. may not be uh, having that effect on everybody. But I'll tell you, I have some patients who are experiencing different problems with lupus and irritable bowel and, and inflammatory bowel, and I have seen them go from medication to medication to medication and still be very miserable. Now, I can honestly say that if this became a thing, and scientists were really saying that this offered some help, I can honestly say some of them would be willing to try that. Because at the end of the day, you're really looking for less medication and feeling better, right? And, and if swallowing a worm is going to give you that... Well, the better part would be... Stay, what, what if we stay in the bowel, they're not going to, like, go to other parts, right? Yeah, well, I hope what, if we yeah. could, what if we could create, in a way that we could, con could control it, um, the same response from our bodies as if they were infected by an intestinal parasite, mm. uh, get rid of all the untoward effects of it. Um, there, I think there's Almost a lot like of scientific potential here. Look, there's, there's a fine line between being too clean and not clean at all. And we got to find that <laughs> sweet spot because <laughs> if you don't let your kids ever play in the dirt, Pet dogs. Yeah. If you don't ever let them get exposed to these Play with other kids. germs, yeah, they're going yeah. to potentially have an over-robust autoimmune response um, to anything in their environment. The only thing I will say about this is the last time I went to Africa, I caught a parasite. Oh. And oh, I had so severe diarrhea, and I was sick. And I will say that I would never try this out mm -hmm. just for fun because... Um, I never, I actually never tested my stool because I was there, and, and luckily, eventually, the summer was or something else. How the many worst days? part is, well, I shouldn't say this, but the worst part is it, it, it stayed with me all the way back to the States, and I'm on the airplane. Oh. You know, I, it is what it is. I mean, what, what can you do? But what? the point is that these parasites, they can run amok. That's why we're not saying, oh, pop a few. Let's pop a few worms here. Yeah. I mean, these parasites, if, you're, if your body's naive to them, they can wreak some havoc.